Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Ryland Lindley over with Field Hill Boats, and today we're going to be doing a full walkthrough video of this 2021 Yamaha 252 SE. So the 252 SE is going to be the top of the line for the 25 foot series until you get to that wake series, right? And so it's going to be a 25 foot boat. It's going to have the twin 180s. Um, so each motor has 180 horsepower, the twin motor boat. And so total that's going to give you a 360 horsepower. So with those twin 180s, you're going to get this boat up to about 47, 50 miles an hour, depending on conditions. Um, just an awesome performing boat. One of the cool things about Yamaha is they are one of the fastest boats from zero to 30 miles an hour. So as soon as you hit that throttle, they are on plane so quick. Huge, um, huge advantage. So something new that they did for 2021 is on these 25 footers, they've added these super cool seats right here. So these are little submersible swim seats. So as you may know, the water line is about right here on the back of Yamaha. So it's always really easy to get in and out of the boat, but these are gonna be underwater, you know, a few inches. So super awesome to come and just, while you're swimming, hanging out, being able to sit on this and, and just relax with everybody, you know, and kind of cool down a little bit. Um, they do have the ability to flip over as well. So if you were to take this all the way out, flip it over 180 degrees, I'm gonna show you this one as an example. So then you have a little table set up right here. Um, it, goes, it gives you two little cup holders. So if you, you know, need to set your drink down while you're swimming, have the ability to do so. Um, if you need a place to put your phone, it has a quick little engraved um, spot right there. I do like how they do the C deck. So it's a nice material. It's not slippery or anything like that. Um, something new that they've also done for 2021 is this level right here is a little bit higher, which I really like. The old 24 foot series, it was just, it was smaller. And so whenever you're sitting on these back loungers, which everybody loves, your, your, your knees were kind of hiked up a little bit more. And so this makes it to where it's just such a nicer seat. Um, they did add the little rests right here. They do that, so if you're sitting in the water hanging out, you want to dip your feet in the water, at least I have a cozy backrest now. And so Yamaha's done an awesome job with that. You'll notice too, this is going to be a flat walkthrough now. So the old 24 footers kind of had a lip right here, if y'all remember. Um, so you did have to kind of step over that into the boat. This makes it a lot more seamless, a lot more accessible to get in and out of the boat. Um, so huge kudos to Yamaha for that. If you look right over here, you are gonna have a little transom stereo remote. So it control the full stereo right here on the back. You do have a little water sh shower wash down. So this pulls out, if y'all have you know a sandy anchor, um, some muddy water toys, feet, whatever it is, and you just wanna wash all that down before getting back in the boat, have the access to do that right there. All right, and so you'll notice too that the 252 SE has the full wet sound stereo system super awesome so the wet sounds are are definitely the top of the line for marine grade stereo systems you have the two speakers right here on the swim platform so you can hear all the music uh, behind the boat and above this one pretty neat they do have 12 volt access so whenever i you know go tubing or anything like that i don't like the tube blown up the whole time i'm on the boat so i'll bring it deflated i have a little 12 volt air pump and whenever i'm ready to throw the tube out there we just come to the back of the boat plug that in and that blows up the whole tube for you and it's just so much more convenient. Uh, whenever you're done with that tube rope, you gotta have a spot to store it. So they've done an awesome job of just not wasting space. So this opens up, um, got wet storage back here. You can fit those wet ropes or whatever it is just right there in the backrests. Um, you still will have the clean out ports underneath these two seats. Um, so Yamaha is known for that. If you get anything sucked up, this opens up, you can get to those clean out ports right there. Um, the two backrests too are very versatile. And so you just press this little button right here and these slide back all the way. And now we have an awesome lounger. You can actually just kind of lean back a little bit, straight chill. And so just all together, they have done so good on the back of this boat. So let's go into the inside. Come on in. I'm gonna go ahead and push these backrests back. So these come back and make an auto room in the cockpit. Yamaha does a good job of keeping that eight foot six wide beam all the way throughout the boat for the most part, and just so much interior space. And just to add to that, they do have, you know, another little filler cushion. You can't put that in upside down right there. 
if you need a little accessible pad, just an extra cup holder, table for you. Um, the main purpose of it is to flip around. That goes in that spot. And then you have this backrest right here. Super easy, slides into place. And now, take a look at that. Full wraparound seating. So many people can come hang out in the cockpit comfortably without bumping shoulders or anything like that. Close that in there. If you want to take a look in that compartment, Yamaha does twin batteries for their boats. So you'll have a separate battery switch for each battery. If for some reason you're a little out of juice and need to get those motors cranked up, you do have the, um, the parallel switch. So if you turn that over, you're going to sync up both of those batteries and use all that juice and get your motors cranked back up. All right. And so I don't know if you can see under here, but that is the subwoofer. And so it has the full wet sound stereo system. Like I said, that is the subwoofer. Comes with the amplifier for a stock boat. This thing jams. All right, so right here on the starboard side, they've done a pretty cool little setup, guys. And so one thing is whenever I boat, you know, a lot of times you don't really have a good spot for the cooler. They've made a little cutout down here. So it comes with the igloo or the Coleman. Um, just a standard cooler. Obviously, you can have a Yeti, um, a much better cooler fit under there if you need to. But that does have the sea deck right there. It's a little bit recessed, so whenever you fill that thing up, just slide it back behind the captain's chair, out of the way, and it's not sliding around. So, always bring snacks on board, miscellaneous items, so they've opened up that box, not wasting any space. A lot of storage down in there. And just to double up some function, this kind of opens up like that. This will fold up and fold into place. Now you have another extra table right here. So awesome spot to set up snacks, food, whatever you need. There is another table that comes with the boat. And so that table has the ability to mount right here on the back of the swim platform. I should have showed you all that, um, but lots of room just to set things up, a lot of table space. So let's move to the captain's chair. Now I just want to take a second to just comment, they've done such a good job on this helm station. They've kind of mimicked a little bit of that 275 series from last year. So you have this beautiful 12 inch floating display right here. They still give you the phone holder so you can set your phone up right here. The whole mouse set up. They went to these gorgeous push buttons, the horn's working. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but, um, but guys, just so awesome. They do have all the LEDs and so Whenever this thing lights up, it just all lights up with the blue LEDs and looks awesome. And so, like I said, this is part of the E-Series, which stands for Electronic Series from Yamaha. And so that E-Series is gonna give you all digital throttle and shifting. So right here at the throttle bodies, this is all computer regulated, not pulling on any cables or anything like that. And so it makes it very smooth going in and out of gear. With that, you have the ability on the screen to press a button, and that's gonna sync both motors to just this one lever. So if you're somebody that doesn't really wanna mess with both at the same time, you just hit that button, move that one out of the way, it's obsolete, and you can just drive it like a, like a single engine boat. So pretty cool. Um, with the E-Series, you still get the perfect pass settings. So if you are back there, have somebody wakeboarding, skiing, tubing, you can set that acceleration slow, medium, or fast. You go in and set the mile per hour, and once that's set, you just hit the, that throttle all the way down, it's on a GPS fix, and it gets right where you need to go. So on that, you'll notice up top right here, the E-Series gives you the much bigger tower and bimini top. If you uh, take a second to look at this boat next to us, this is just the 252S. And so same boat, just not part of the E-Series. And you see how that one's um, just kind of the closing collapsible tower. You fold that one up. This one is gonna give you a bigger frame. And so this is all gonna be solid right here. You can open up this square right there and fold it back if you want a little sun in the cockpit. Um, but it, it gives you the higher toe point kind of underneath the canvas, which I think is cool, right? So you don't have to fold up the bimini top to do any wakeboarding. You just hook up your rope right here and you are ready to do some water sports. Um, do you want to touch on the, um, the co-captain's chair? So right here, you'll have two little uh, USB ports so you can charge your phone. You'll have this little table that drops down. So if you need a little station to do whatever you need to, there's just, like I said, a lot of stands, a lot of useful areas on this boat. And then does have just a little more drop down storage. This whole console opens up kind of like the 24 foot series. And so right there, a lot of storage. If you're somebody that wants a bathroom on the boat, we have done um, 
uh, installed porta potties right here, and we can even do the pump out plumbing if that's something you want. If not, don't worry about it. This is awesome storage. So dedicated spot for the table pedestal. I like that they have a, a direct place for it to go. It's just not sliding around everywhere. Uh, that's your table back there. And then those two seats are gonna be your bow filler cushions. And so I'll go into that right here. And I do wanna say just such a big bow. They don't come into that, that, that point right there. And so it kind of flares out the nose. And so, so much room sitting right here in the front of the boat. I can have somebody sitting directly across without knocking knees. You really can't do that in a whole lot of boats, right? And so these two seats flip open. Everything is on hinges, which is awesome. And then you can see these notches and that's where the filler cushions kind of go into place, lock those in. And that turns this into a full sun pad up front. Um, they do have the wet sound stereos right here in the bow, some recessed cup holders. So a great spot to come and hang out. I do like how they do the recessed um, grab handles right there. Cause every time I bring my brother and sister on board, they like to sit right here, look over in the water, see all the fish. And so just a safe area for everybody. If you were to beach the boat or anything like that, you do have um, a bow ladder right here. So that drops down into the water. For 2021, they added this little clip right here because this is also a dedicated anchor locker. So throw out your anchor. You have an opportunity to tie it up just right there in the center of the nose. Super convenient. They did a great job with that. And so guys, there is much more to know about this boat. I would love to tell you everything about it, pricing, availability. Um, please give me a call if you have questions or send me a text message. It's 940-230-3276 or feel free to email me at rlindley at fieldillboats.com. Guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, plan on doing a lot more videos in the future. If y'all have any recommendations, um, want any tip videos, please let me know down below. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, I'll look forward to it next time, guys. Thank you so much.